Are you unhappy with your photos? Are you not getting the results that you expect? It happens. It happens to me, too. We're surrounded by great photos. Instagram can really make you feel terrible about your own work. By comparison, sometimes our own stuff doesn't look so good. Now, it's easy to assign blame. Your camera isn't good enough. The settings are confusing. The tour bus unloaded just as you arrived. But, let's face it, no one has a memory card that's full of great photos. Don't expect every photo you take to be gallery worthy. And it's fun to assign the blame for our past failures on... No. While we might be able to learn from our past mistakes, let's look forward to better photos in the future. How are we going to make sure we get more share-worthy images? Let me start with two ideas. One, take more time before you snap. Many Instagrammers take a whole day to plan, shoot, and process their image. So don't rush. Have a look at your settings. Is this last night's ISO? Did I leave some filter on from the last shot? And look. No, examine the entire scene. Is there something distracting? Does that flagpole look like it's coming out of someone's head? <laughs> Take the time to fix it. And two, don't be satisfied with just one shot. That first image of Toronto City Hall captures the postcard scene. But are there other angles that would make it better? Or that tell a story? Or leave the viewer wondering what they're seeing? Maybe something to remind you of the day that you were there. Would different exposure settings improve your image? Is there a color or a filter setting that enhances this scene? Now, the more photos that you take, the luckier you're going to get. Sometimes, just before I click the shutter, I get a premonition that this isn't working. Now, it costs nothing to take it, so I do. A blank memory card is full of opportunity. Don't bring it home half empty. Now in hockey they say keep your stick on the ice. In photography, keep your camera in your hand. I'm so lazy that if it's not in my hand, it has to look like a pretty spectacular photo op before I take it out of the bag. But once it's in my hand, I snap up nearly everything. And like Baden Powell said, be prepared. Reset your camera before you turn it off so that it's ready to shoot quickly. Now, let's talk about light. Look at the light in the scene. What is illuminated? What should be illuminated? Where are the shadows? What story do they tell? Can you position yourself to take better advantage? Should the light come from behind you, from beside, or from behind the subject? Should you try a shot with your flash? And then, let's talk about people. Sometimes, in an over-touristed world, they seem to be in the way, but let's celebrate our humanity. Just wait a minute and see how they reveal their intentions. Magic will happen. Now, always bring energy. Have fun. Run. Jump. Maybe you're not in the shot, but a dynamic behind-the-camera personality always finds its way into the frame. Try a prop. Experiment. Try one of your camera's least used features. Try another. Be patient. The selfie-obsessed tourists will leave. The light may change. The flag will unfurl. An interesting person with an umbrella could walk through at any minute. And if it's really not working for you, give up. But not too soon. There's opportunity in every scene, in every challenge. Overcome adversity. Don't let rain or clouds put you off your game. On the other hand, maybe you're not feeling motivated. Whatever. Stay home or find another way to work on your skills. Watch a YouTube tutorial. Go to a gallery. Find a new coffee shop. Take a friend out for lunch. And then pick up the camera and look at it with fresh eyes. Now, one more thing. Even though it might not be a great photograph at first glance, if you feel that there's a glimmer of something that might be worth saving, take a minute using your favorite photo editor. Is there a crop that will bring it to life? Are there details in the shadows or highlights? 
maybe another enhancement, brings out something that wasn't obvious. Well, that's it. Hopefully, there's some motivation or concept that helps you take less terrible photos. Thanks for watching. You know the rest. Civil comments, relevant questions, please subscribe.